we started out with just like I don't give a crap about length. All I care about is strength. Yeah. What kind of a joint do I need to do to be able to pull the crazy loads that a spoke's under? Mm -hmm. For me, the durability was was the kind of real achievement for, for us, right? It's a composite product replacing traditional metal products, right? But we knew the kind of fundamental mechanical behavior would be there, but there's that durability side of things, especially on a mountain bike that I was super happy with. I want to make a spoke that I can see people riding and I can like confidently give to my boss and like be con pretty sure that it's like <laughs> not gonna he, he won't eat crap go on the trail. over the handlebars on the trail because yeah. the wheel blew out. Talked to some old man down there telling him, you know, well, we'll see, you know, how many engineers I have to fire when I get back and off I went, right? And so that was the first ride, essentially. <laughs> this is a kick ass spoke. This is like the way that I would want to develop it if I didn't even know that I wanted to make a spoke, you know, and it's like, I'm not winging it on whether or not this spoke is gonna fail on right. this bike ride. I know for certain it's going to go great. Thank you.